We're about to go over there. We're gonna meet the artists, ask them a few questions. You guys are in the city. You have to come, you have to check it out. We're with Greg Mishka. I said it right, right? You said it correctly, yeah. <laughs> you said you're gonna take some secret headquarters? Not everybody gets to go see. You wanna stop at this door, trust me. How badass is that? Oh my God, look at my buddy. Check this out. We're not like any other lobby. This is like the home. This Iron Man right here? Yeah. It's like five right here. Oh, oh, whoa, whoa. Did you just see what happened? Show that again, a $200,000 statue. Sh show that one really quick again. Da -da -da -da. Uh, you guys, you guys see all kinds of good stuff. Make sure to like, game. subscribe. What's up, guys? So we got to the secret location. We are 3D Retro. This is my favorite toy store in LA. It's actually more than toys collectible, guys. With my good friend, the pin guy. We just met Greg. Greg. Oh, see, I don't speak English, guys. I tell you all the time. Greg Mishka. I never want to mess somebody's name up. We just got our skeleton sign. Check these out. This is the newest Mattel release. You can go to the website, Mattel Creations. They're probably sold out by now. They just did a skeleton. They did a He-Man. Give you like a sneak peek. So I knew these were gonna be pretty cool. And if you watch a lot of our videos, Mattel and He-Man and Master of the Universe is kind of where it started for me many, many moons ago. I'm not gonna tell you how many. Well, I guess you know like what, 1985, 86, right? <laughs> All right, back then, I'm, I'm really old. I get it, I get it. But these came out way better. And you guys know I love boxes. I collect models, all kinds of things for the boxes. And I thought these are gonna be just kind of plain boxes and the statues be cool. But check out these boxes. Then we got golden signatures by the artist. The artwork is amazing. I mean, we're doing a product review. We'll open up one of those. Show this from the He-Man. So we don't have the He-Man sign yet, but we're about to go over there. We're gonna meet the artist, ask him a few questions. And then as a special bonus footage, you guys, 3D Retro in LA, pop-ups coming right now. If you guys are in the city, you have to come, you have to check it out. We're gonna go to some headquarters. My good friend Kai, he's gonna show some really cool pieces. So, but let's check out this Mattel release. Sorry, we just drank Coke and I'm super tired and uh, <laughs> super excited, but check it out, Skeletor. And look how cool that looks. And actually, do you think that clothes in the dark? It looks like it closed, doesn't it? Yeah, it looks really cool. That'd be scary, somebody break into your house and just be sitting in a corner like that. And then we also, Greg was super awesome. He signed the bottom for us. I'm gonna try to get a couple extra of those. So maybe we'll do a giveaway in the channel. If you guys want them, hit me up. Um, we might have a couple extra, we'll see. You wanna show it, show it. Here you go. You guys remember him from the Disney pin videos? Greatest Disney guy out there. If you have any pin questions. Uh, yeah, this is the He-Man here. You can see it. Really, really cool. Uh, looks really, really good. We're excited to get it signed for him. It is a, comes in a 400 and 100 size. So you get both in the set. So really, really awesome. The detail on it's amazing. Artwork's amazing. And we all love He-Man. Yeah. Masters of the Universe. And then Kai's actually helping us out. He's filming with us because Casey had to stream. Hopefully you guys watched the stream the whole day. Kai, is this in the Mattel Creations exclusive or does actually stores like you you guys get inventory besides the special side? I think it's their exclusive. It's their exclusive. We're just doing the release party here. So in the whole so world, guys, that's why I like 3D Retro. This is the release party where you can actually get some. If not, um, well, this video is going to come after afterwards. But go to MattelCreations.com. Check it out. They have a whole He-Man line. Maybe you'll still get one. I doubt it. If not, you probably have to go to eBay or Amazon or 3D Creations if you guys have some. So, But anyway, let's go meet the artist. Let's get our human signed. All right, guys. We're with Greg Mishko. You said it right, right? You said it correctly. Yeah. I hate it when I mess yeah. up. Casey yells at me. But, and guys, you can't stand like this. We got behind the scenes access over here at 3D Retro, but we figured it makes a super video. Now, first, before we do anything, in case we upset you, which is very likely, okay. and the touching is him, like I said, uh, <laughs> I'm gonna have you sign him. So will you sign my outer box? Yes, of course. This is so awesome. And I love, I love what you did with these pieces. Thank you. Yeah, it was really fun to make them. You know, we, we were approached by Mattel, and we actually, it was, it's funny, because we've been working on this for about three years, so. I remember we got to actually see some of, we had to like sign an NDA because they sent us some of the, I was like one of the first people to see like the cartoon that they, the new cartoon for Netflix. Oh, that's cool. Because that was the one what? thing is like we couldn't, you know, we wanted, they were like, you can do it, but it has to be based on the revelation. But, you know, I, 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 I thought the art was cool and I liked the fact that like Kevin Smith was part of it. And so I was like, okay, this actually is like oh, that's a, pretty, cool. a pretty cool thing. So. And I mean, yeah. I, I mean, I heard you earlier. I'm, I mean, like, I'm like you, like, probably 1985, 86. We weren't gonna say the date. I know. These kids don't know. They think he might came out like in 2010 when they remade it or whatever. I know. <laughs> I know. You but, know what? I'm gonna be honest with you. I hate Mattel Creations, and the reason I do, I'm gonna be honest. You know, guys know the YouTube channel. I'm always honest, no matter what I do. I hate them because they make so much good stuff. <laughs> and I have a credit card that's always maxed out because of Mattel Creations. <laughs> because, you know, there's some companies out there that just kind of do it. And there's companies that really take care of it. Right. And I can tell, like, I, I look at the box, I look at the piece. 
and it's just awesome. And then meeting you, how nice you are, and you're like, I oh, see you interact you. with all the fans, and yeah. even taking the time out to make a YouTube video for these guys out there. That's like, it's, it's a great company, so. Actually, I really love them. I'm just trying to be funny. I love them, guys. Nobody get upset. Watch the whole video. They just cost me a lot of money, but they do quality, cool stuff. And, you know, it's always, I mean, I always do a business out of it, too. So I say it's cool when the stuff goes up in value, right? Yeah. I mean, it's probably never for sale until I well, die. Well, it's only the, you know, it's the first time that, I don't know that Mattel has ever done anything with Medicom before. Is this the first time? I think so. So for me, it's kind of amazing because, you know, like, I grew up on it, yeah. you know, like, it was like such an inspiration, even as a you know, as I've gotten older, as being an artist, you know, that just those. I mean, I can't paint like those guys that painted like the boxes and stuff. But yeah. I mean, like that, you know, maybe more of like the little comic book that came with the card. But you know, just as a kid, seeing that that painting and just like kind of being sucked into this fantasy yeah. world. And I then, totally know what you're saying. You know, yeah. and so and then obviously the cartoon and you know, it's just one of those things that you know. I be able to do this now is like kind of like a dream come true and kids don't let him fool you this guy is creative so i went to his instagram last night just to <laughs> check it out again because i'm super excited to be here and i knew we'd get a chance to meet him uh where can they find your instagram uh well you can find the brand mishka mishka gram okay so m-i-s-h-k-a gram and then i'm under greg mishka okay so greg mishka i mean is my personal so it could be a little bit of mishka stuff and some other things or just like weird photos and stuff but um, Mishka Graham is like the one for the brand Mishka and then Mishka NYC is our website and uh, you know we're you can always check us out there and see what we're up to awesome and I'm gonna have the editor right now pop up the link and we're gonna have links in the description check it out amazing artwork um, this is some really really cool stuff let's get this one signed too okay sure for our good buddy this pin guy came to the adventure with us and um, yeah I mean the, the stuff is just amazing guys it's like if you guys can get this go get it and I really like what you did with it. Thank you. Yeah, I, I mean, th this, these are the, these are also the new boxes. So, you know, you mentioned the the, the box, and yeah, I love the box. I mean, it, and obviously, if you're a sneaker guy, yeah, like, that's what I was saying. It looks like a pair of sneakers. So you know, you, you know, and so it, it's it's much easier to display. Like some of the old, some of the other boxes from Metacom, it's like you know, you kind of have to take you know, put it in like it's just like a normal box, and it's not right. that exciting. And you want to keep the box because it's like you got to keep the whole thing, but. Yeah. You don't want to display the box but like you know with this it's like it just looks cool like the whole thing it's like a whole separate display piece yeah and right. then i gotta ask you just as a fan because i kind of grew up with that and stuff how yeah. cool is it when mattel calls and he was like hey you want to do a toy with us cool oh, i mean it, it's like it's like not nah, it, it doesn't feel real yeah like, you know <laughs> it, it's just like you know and even just you know this is like the the official like tomorrow is the actual drop but you know we wanted to do something local with 3d retro obviously i love the store and love you know Ben and, and and Kai so um but you know like it, it's just it, it was like I, when we we like just started dropping everything this week and just seeing the feedback and then it kind of really like this is like a pretty big deal and I was like you know because when you're designing stuff and especially it took so long it's like you don't really think about it because it's like you know all the emails like all the back and forth like you know, it was supposed to come out last year and then it, you know, had to get pushed to this year. It was actually supposed to come out like two years ago. Oh, and, wow. That's a long know, time. So it's, it's taken like a long time. So, you know, just now to be at this point, is just, it just feels good. And I'm glad that people are excited about it. And this is actually my first, you know, I've had the sample for a while, but this is my first time seeing the whole, you know, the whole, thing, the whole together. thing together, you know, with the little, like, the new tag, and, you know. No, it looks badass. And you know what? So I was told Casey, you um, I said one day, because I love Hot Wheels also, also Mattel, mm -hmm. right? So I was like, one day I'm going to have a Hot Wheels Mattel storage wars truck with maybe a little fat minifigure. <laughs> Renee, Mattel, you haven't called in case you've seen, okay? <laughs> we need a storage wars truck at Hot Wheels, one of 30,000. So, but they haven't called me. So I, I, I've seen that just, like, as a kid. So, like, you know, I do this stuff, but I'm a super fanboy. And just and I got some cool companies that call me, right? Sure. But like getting a call from Mattel is just like would oh be like... no, it's like it was it was like a dream come true. Like I That's said, awesome. because you know, and the our, Mishka's at, the brand is actually this is our twentieth year. Wow. We started wow. in two thousand three. That's awesome. So it's also a cool way to start, you know, the a twenty sort of twenty year anniversary of the brand to you know be able to launch such a cool you know, collaboration. That's awesome. So. Awkward high five. Yeah. There you go for the real. Okay. <laughs> uh, Steven, any quick questions? What do you? No, love it. I love there's also clothing available too. I saw oh yeah, 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 shirts. Cool. I saw yeah so we, uh, yeah, we, Orco's one of our favorite. I was actually, I, 
you know, I, 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 one thing I didn't know too is like supposedly this is the year of Skeletor. Is it? They told me Mattel said yes. Yeah, oh, I don't know that. Skeletor. So I guess it's it's, it's kind of cool that we're able to do this. But yeah, there's a we did some hats. We did a sticker pack. There's like a hoodie. There's this awesome blanket. Oh, that's cool. That uh, by one of the artists who work with Lamore Supreme. Um, really cozy. I already have one on my couch. Oh, that's really cool. Yeah. So, is there anything you want to say to the community, the fans, or anything else they should know about your brand or Mattel? Um. Just, you know, if you have the opportunity, buy it. Uh, like you said, I don't know when this is going to go live, but they're going to, you know, it's super limited. Um, you know, this is this is only available here during the, the opening, and then it will be available on Mattel Creations, um, our site, but very limited, MishikaNYC.com, and then Metacom in Japan will be selling it. Okay. Uh, but also super limited. Super limited. I mean, okay. it's it's very limited. It's There's not many made. Um, so, you know, if you get a chance, grab it and, uh, you know, it's, we have a lot of other cool projects coming up this That's year, awesome. so definitely check us out. Well, thank you for your time. Thank you, man. We're going to go find our main man, Kai, right now, and then we're going to get a tour of 3D Retro, so we'll be right back. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. Yeah, no problem. Okay, guys, so we just got to meet Craig Mishka. We saw the new Mattel store, um, the new Mattel Eman items. Craig, Craig Mishka. What did I say? Craig. I don't speak English. Everybody knows that. <laughs> and that, I'm sorry. That's a tough name for me, okay, guys? Quick, it's Greg Mishka. I think the last name I'm doing pretty damn good. Yeah. Very good. Very Thank good. you. On point. That's my good friend Kai. He loves judging people. Going? So if you want to be judged, come to 3D Retro in LA. Um, he actually does English lessons on the side, right? Yes, that's <laughs> my second language. <laughs> Anyway, guys, I love this store. If you guys get lucky, sometimes after storage was filming, this is where I stop by to see some of the newest releases. So, Kai, for somebody that's never heard about 3D Retro, the one thirty-second sales pitch, give it to them. Uh, we're the greatest. Yeah, toy the way you say that is just not right. I kind of uh, like uh, you to paraphrase your sentence. Damn it! Oh, I should be an English teacher too. We can sound like a yeah, we can do that. Yeah, okay. Yeah. All right, try it. thirty seconds. Uh, 3D Retro is the greatest toy store in LA. We, st we specialize in designer art toys, mainly bear bricks, art toys, vinyl figures. And we specialize in uh, like blind boxes and all this stuff that you can't really find in any other store. That's awesome. And then, so you're gonna give us a quick store tour. You said you're gonna take us to the secret headquarters. Yeah, this is the store right now. You're here. Uh, I can also show you our uh, you know office where people, not everybody gets to go see. You guys get to see it exclusively in Bargain Hunter Strift, so make sure to subscribe. Also, where can they find you online? So just so we don't forget. Uh, at 3D Retro on Instagram and uh, right here in the city of Galanda. And anybody for ESL classes or general English languages? Uh, at Life of Kai, but a lot of underscores. <laughs> we'll put the link in there too. Hey guys, do me a favor. Just blow up his DMs and just ask him that he needs special language, special skills with English and especially names. Tell me you have troubles with names like Greg. You know, did I, yeah. did I say I get it right? Yeah, you got it right. See, it works. I got it right the second time. Now we head to the headquarters, so let's just walk. Just tell us about the cases. What do we see? Uh, well, what do you want to point out in the store? Well, right now we have the setup, obviously. You can man. He man uh, from Mishka and Mattel Creations. Uh, right here we have Michelle. Hi. She's one of our hosts, and uh, when we do live streams uh, as well, we do live streams on Pop Channel Live, a different network, okay, different cool. platform. This is our archive. It's not for sale stuff that we made over the years uh, since 2000 and. Three. Oh, so you guys do your own lines and stuff too? Yeah, we, awesome. we create products with different artists, uh, like Greg, okay. and we create limited edition collaborations, and we do licensed products. So. You want to stop at this store? Trust me, it's awesome. Let's follow this, but yeah. let's show, show this amazing uh, wall of. We got, we got, we got, we got a wall of bear bricks, one thousand percent. How that's badass like, is that? Uh, that's the biggest size that they have for sale to the general public. They don't sell bigger sizes to general public, obviously. Oh. You've seen it. You I've, know, yeah, I've seen it. Bigger yeah. sizes, so certain people and certain brands. 
Uh, so we, we at DesignerCon 3D Retro, we have a, like a super big one for our show, but in the store you can buy the biggest 1,000 pieces. And so a lot of our viewers, they might not know what this bear is all about. So what kind of prize are we talking about these? Like the Pac-Man one, I think that's pretty badass. Uh, Pac-Man, the, the big 1,000% uh, usually range from 300 to about $700, depends on what license are. So uh, some of them could be really low and they made a lot of them. Some could be really expensive and super limited. And a lot of the stuff I was supposed to, they do limited editions and do general runs, yeah. right? That's yeah. cool. So we have these top two right there. They're exclusive from Designer Con, so these are more uh, limited pieces. There are a lot of other stuff like the Batman, That's you know, more of a licensed product, so they produce a little bit more for wholesale. So guys, we have to pick one right now. So we're gonna do a quick video footage. We're gonna run down this aisle, and then I'm gonna tell you my favorite one really quick. Let's see what we can see. Really quick, we're not thinking. We're not thinking it through. We have to pick one. Uh, this is kind of cool. Strange Days Oasis. I think our favorite one. Uh, I don't know why, but this looks badass. Ratfink. Is that, is that Ratfink or is this Ratfink? That's Ratfink? This is Ratfink. Actually, you know what? Ratfink, right here. This looks badass. How much am I spending? Uh, about 400 four hundred dollars guys so uh thumbs up so i can get enough ad revenue so i can afford this one day so what else do you want to point out that's super cool in here i think everything is cool but what should the viewers oh my god look at my buddy i went to school with him check this out darth vader yeah yeah he's you know he has a way of the dark side do we have hey i'm your father look my dad used to tell me that all the time and then we got retro cases up there too, right? Yeah, so we have one six scale figures from Sideshow and Hot Toys as well. We have different figures from different brands. Is, are those Sideshow up there that are just Stormtroopers? Uh, those are Hot Toys. Hot Toys, okay. Yeah. Guys, I don't know why, and leave, leave comments in the section. It's like the Stormtroopers are super, like I'll, I could have a million Stormtroopers and I always buy another one. I don't know why. They're awesome. You can have a whole army. Yeah, I yeah, know, I love them. Yeah. Wonder Woman. So we have a lot of different vinyl toys from different companies, different artists, and then you know we obviously have regular stuff for you know the kids. Check this out, badass. Yeah. The Mandalorian, right? What is so yes. awesome? I just guys, you know what? That's why I have to always give my credit card to Casey when I come here. Just bring some cash because I can. I'll max them out in a few minutes. Like I, I literally think every piece in here is cool. These buying boxes are perfect for kids. If you have kids. You know, oh, so you don't know what's in there, right? Yeah. So oh, that's really cool. Yeah. Keep them busy while you look at the expensive stuff. Yeah, that's awesome. All right, guys, we're going to head to the headquarters. We'll be right back. All right, guys, so now we have the 3D Retro Designer Con headquarters. Yeah. Kai, you're about to show some amazing pieces, right? Yeah, we have some cool stuff right here in the office. I think we're not like any other lobby. So when you come into the office here, not, not everybody gets to come in. We have a big sculpture by Stephen Harrington that was showcased at Designer Con a few years ago. And you know, OG Slick, uh, the famous LA Hands. Okay. And you know, we have our bare bricks. We custom made these um, acrylic sculptures kind of display. Yes, they're badass. So, they're custom. so this way we can show them, see through. We love art, you know, obviously we have Moderna for chairs. So for people that come in waiting. I think that's the thing of the packs. Like this is pre-pandemic. You come into office and wait. I know, you're actually going to act with people. Now it's just an email, right? Right now it's just for look. You know, yeah. I, I'm not a huge Bear Brick fan. I just because I don't know that much about it. Yeah. But when I see this, I'm like, it, my insight, my collector's like, I want I want to go on Yeah, yeah. So, so like, you came to today for the Mishka and He-Man yes. collab. So this is like, this is, you know, our artist and Disney. Okay. His uh, rendition of uh, Mickey. This is Javier. And these are the thousand percent, right? These are thousand percents. We kind of figure what we do is we put the thousand percent. If there's a matching 400, we'll put it in the front. But as time gone on, we're like, we're just going to put the thousand percent. <laughs> That's <laughs> too cool. much work. No, they look super bad. And so is there some really rare ones here? Like so the there's better? a lot of older ones, rare ones. Uh, this is the Baby and Ape Mickey collab. You know, we have some designer from I'm not Mickey, so there's an artist. And a Disney brand, right? And a designer con exclusive. This is 2019 and that's 2020. So what are those worth? Uh, this one's about 5,000 for the big ones. Wow. And this one's about, uh, no, this one's about 3,500. 3, this one's about 5,000. This is the older one. So if I was a designer con 2020 or 2019, I got lucky to buy some as an investment because a lot of people do use them as investments too. Right. So what would I pay for them originally at designer con? Uh, this one was 800. Oh, wow, that's nice. 40%? No, the 1,000%. It's 
No, I'm saying 400% profit. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I think business wise, yeah. I'm like, so guys, to sign up on every year, when is it usually? We had the video a couple months ago. Right, we, last year we had it in November, this year will be in December. So go find Kaya's booth and get some of the sign up <laughs> exclusive. Obviously, a huge market. That's great. Yeah, three years, four hundred percent. Yeah, that's what a lot of people do use it for. It's collectible art, you know. Like yeah. we all know, the reason why we collect is they appreciate your value. Of course, if they don't, if they they don't appreciate in monetary value, they appreciate in sentimental value too. Yeah, but we still <laughs> make the money. Follow yeah, the yeah, channel, yeah. You guys know. And then also, so like these thousand percenters, how many do they make of these usually? Uh, they don't make a lot. Usually, when you make an exclusive. It's anywhere between a couple hundred pieces, like okay. three to five hundred pieces for doubt for limited edition exclusives. Uh, if it's for like general releases, it's much higher. Mm -hmm. They usually don't tell you the number on that. But I know for when we release an exclusive, that's the number. So in twenty twenty two in the sign con, I'm sure. I mean, it's twenty. Sorry, guys, we're in twenty twenty three. But I'm sure it's going to be some more cool exclusive at the next design con, right? Yeah, yeah. And, and I know you guys have that VIP pass that gets you the day in before, which I did last time we yeah. shot the video. So if I come in the day before, do I have a chance to actually get one of these or do I sold out in 30 seconds? Uh, if you come to the VIP night, which you did, you okay. have a shot at it. Okay, so cool. So the, yeah, like these ones, the Soft Story Amas, they were VIPs mostly. Okay. And then Saturday, Sunday, they were. It's all gone. Yeah. Well, guys, guess who's starting a new collection? Because this year, in 2023, I'm going to be at the SinaCon. Come see me. And I'm definitely going to pick up whatever you guys. Do you want to tell us coming out of 2023? I can't tell you. Watch Sorry. the end of this video. Soon, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. that's cool. So, you know, this is the lobby. Uh, guys, we're going to see all kinds of good stuff. Make sure to like, subscribe, give a message to Kai in the chat right now. Thank you for this awesome tour. Check out these skateboards right here. How bad is this? Yeah. So we have a lot of art around the office. That is cool too. This is by Morikami. Another com convention. Sorry, I'm a snowboard. That's awesome. That's only if released in China. In Beijing. That is so cool. Yeah. Actually, you know what? I have some I, I know this artist. I actually, I think I have some originals of this artist. Sign because I, I remember that female robot type of thing. What's that worth? Probably like 10 15 k Oh my god, Casey, no to ourselves or check in one of our eBay rooms. I know I have a but that artist, I have signed stuff from this artist. Yeah, that is awesome. So we have an original painting by D Face. Is that Donald Duck? Uh, that's uh, a version of Donald Duck Simpsons. Oh, that's Simpsons. Okay, sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Can we go in here? Yeah, is there a doesn't it look like Donald Duck with a short snap? That is like that is really cool. I'm like a kid in heaven right here. This is like oh, mm -hmm. black and white Mickey. The uh, vintage Mickey. You know, there's some stuff that we we produce as far as the new retro wise. There's some stuff here that hasn't been released yet. So just Tristan Ian, Brett Crawford. Uh, we we did this uh, in 2020. The Back to the Feature collab. That's cool. The Metacom. So it, you, it got it was released like this, four hundred percent Doc with a one hundred percent Marty, four hundred percent Marty with a one hundred percent Doc. So just for people that are new, uh, it's bare brick, right? Bare brick. Bare brick. So what were these retailing for when they were now? Uh, the, they were one forty at the at Design Con. I think the last one, this one was selling for like three fifty, four hundred. Great, so 100%. Like 250, 300. Yeah, so that's great. They're cool pieces. And then I'm assuming the bigger you get on those, the more money, right? The bigger, the more, the time, as time goes on, uh, and signatures, I guess. Mm -hmm. Depends on, yeah. That's uh, really cool stuff. Kano was actually hanging out in the store earlier. Oh, the artist behind those. Oh, okay, that's cool. Yeah. The Star Wars and Marvel figures yeah. from Bear Bricks, uh, they're only exclusively in Japan. Oh, so wow. you're not like you're uh, they're not available in any other markets other than japan wow because you know in the u.s uh, hasbro has the right to action figures oh okay so they don't let them make it okay yes. so if i if i'm trying like if i go on ebay and i want to because these are actually pretty badass right so if i want to buy these in my collection how, how much does like the boba fett set me back I, this this one might get like Twelve hundred. That's not too bad. Twelve hundred to uh, two grand, I think, because they made a few Boba Fets. But the Iron Man, this Iron Man right here, yeah, is like five grand. That's it's cool. a very fur, one of the first ones. That's crazy. Mark Three. That is um, crazy. 
I mean, the art on them is just, they just play the art, so check that down there. Yeah, so we have Keith Haring, Soriano. It's just cool stuff. And just, this is Jackson Pollock. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Wow. And these are our exclusives. And then we have our... So exclusive to... Uh, to designer con 3D Retro, Stephen Harrington. It's a 3D Retro exclusive. Uh, Keith Haring, designer con exclusive. So same thing, when I, if I want to design a con and how much do I pay for these and what, what, what's my investment worth now? See, I always like to talk numbers because a lot of people on the channel like knowing stuff like that. I haven't checked uh, these last time. These were 500. Okay. I think last time I checked was like 15. Oh, wow. So something. pretty much all that designer con exclusive sounds like a pretty sound investment. Yeah, well, you know, it's an exclusive, you know. That's awesome. Exactly. So guys, guess what? I'm going to start trying to get some of these when they come out and go to VIP night. And I'll be the guy trying to buy as many. No, Renee, you can... I'm sure they live it in one per person, so right? Yeah, we usually do one per person. Okay, guys, everyone in my family, uh, come to the <laughs> Los Angeles free trip on me. We're going to designer con. And then we have some cos prints. That's cool. I love this back there, Kyle. That's really cool. What is that? Uh, this is a print by uh, Shepard Ferry on Bay. Okay. Signed, nice. Yeah, this is a gigantic. We framed it. We got draw English 3A. What is that? This is Ashley Wood uh, 3A stuff. He's an artist out of Australia. Australia? Yeah. <laughs> he draws robots and women loving each other. Okay, loving each other. Okay. When you say loving, they are loving each other. Loving okay. each other. Alright, that's cool. But I got, you can show this one. Uh oh, this one? Oh, guys, we're about, oh, oh, whoa, whoa. Did you just see what happened? It, this is a security, within the security. Just let me tell you guys, the outside of this building is like Ford Knox, okay? So now we have more security. Da, 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 da. Oh my goodness. Is this your office? Is this where you come and play and work? Uh, yes. Yes. No, this is actually this is actually not my office. I'm not gonna take credit for it. This is Ben's office, uh, the co uh, the co founder of Designer Con. Okay. So this is his office. This he he does have to tell his, his wife. wife. He has to come to work. Uh, yeah. But I, I would never go home, and I love my wife and family. Oh my God! Come come here, Pin Guy. Pin, guys, by the way, if you haven't subscribed to my good friend Pin Guy, he made this video possible. And you know, he supports the channel. So you go over Pin Guy on all social platforms, give him a subscribe. Tell him Team Bargain Hunter sent you. Actually, Alex, let's let's drop his links right now. Subscribe to the Pin Guy. Wow, this art is just amazing. And then you know what? Something caught my eye back here. This oh Decon special edition card. Oh, because of passes. So that's our passes. And I would let me guess, they're probably you guys make everything collectible. He's a collectible, right? This is a collectible. What's funny is I think that was so I made that for Ben for, as a Christmas gift that year. Oh, that's cool. That was my uh, first year uh, on the team as manager. That is really cool. That, that, I love the stuff like that. Check this out. Cross collectible Coca-Cola. That is awesome. Oh, this is awesome. So a, a few personal collections, a few from the office. So guys, one of the very first collectibles we did on eBay too after we got past Beanie Babies and Pests. Like, I was alive when the Swatch Watch craze was going crazy. Uh, I remember the Picasso, that's the, I think it was Picasso, right? That's the one everybody tried to get. So Swatch Chronos. Isn't that the ones that just came out that sold out like immediately? I think that was an older one. Oh, I'm thinking about the Omega ones, okay. The Omega is the one that just came out. Okay, okay, okay. So, but these are super cool Swatch Watch. Uh, my mom used to be a huge collectible. That's really cool. What's the most valuable, most, maybe not even valuable, but the coolest, the most unique piece in here? Like, uh, gotta be this guy, right? <laughs> oh, okay. So we have the Pinocchio, we have the four foot cause. Okay. But yeah, uh, uh, the Pinocchio is super limited. It was a raffle. I think it goes for about 150K. 150,000? Yeah, it was 8,500 retail. Wow. But you only could get it in a raffle, right? In a raffle, and then we, we were lucky to uh, to get one for the company. That's amazing. Um, that four foot cause, uh, Ben purchased that online. When it first dropped, it was very expensive for for that era, I think. It was like four thousand, five grand. But in that era, or, um, late, mid 2000s, 
it, it's a big gamble. Yeah, know, yeah. Nobody knew Cos was gonna be like what he is is today. Yeah. So I think that was a big gamble, and he bought one, and those I think anywhere option for two hundred k. Wow, two guys showed it again a two hundred thousand dollars statue. Sh show that one really quick again. That's amazing. Okay, guys, so we're pretty much done here, but I'm gonna show you a few more things. You wanna come check out the store, you definitely wanna go to DesignerCon 2023. Casey and myself, unless we're out of country, will be at the VIP, um, we'll be at the VIP night again, and we'll be at the Medicom booth trying to get some of these thousand percent of new figures to DesignerCon exclusives. Uh, do your own research, but it looks like everything you buy is just a super safe investment. It goes up. The only trouble you're going to have, those items are so cool, you're probably going to be like me and you want to end up keeping them. But I just like, check out all these cool posters and artwork. Pearl Jam. That's cool. I mean, everything in here is just really cool. Oh, check out these. I love these old stickers. Bank of America. All credit cards, vintage credit card signs. Evox cereal, that's cool. I've never seen that before. Oh, check out all these vintage cereals. Funko's. Oh, Funko makes these cereals. That's cool. No, I don't want no information, Siri. Oh, check out this Coca Cola sign. Hey, are all these signs original? There's some replica. I think that one is. That big one's a replica? No, this is original. Oh, okay. That's cool, guys. What about these cereals? Those are new Funko things, right? I've seen Funko in one box. Yeah, so they're the Funko cereal ones. So we, we bought a bunch just for just for the kitchen. I love that Coca-Cola. That gotta be at least five thousand dollars, right? Maybe more even. That's I don't a huge. Remember. Ben, ben loves Coca-Cola. Guys, look it up. It's sign number AM twelve dash two. If you know, put in the chat. We all learned something. I'll tell you, the color. Like I don't know if it comes across in video, but it looks super badass. What do you think, Pen guy? I think it's amazing. Approved. Approved. Shall we buy it and just tell Mary we made an investment? Sounds like a plan. <laughs> Mary is Mrs. Pin Guy, by the way, guys. More art, but I wanted to show you guys these. Hey, Kai, can you say something about these Darth Vader helmets, masks? Oh, yeah. They are, like, really cool. We're going to get Kai. Kai's tired. He's been working all day. You, uh, you found my uh, helmet. D what do you mean your helmet? <laughs> <laughs> uh, so these are from uh, an art show a few years ago. Maybe not a few years ago. Maybe almost 20 years ago. Uh, the replicas of I think one of from the original one of the movies. Okay. And we had different artists paint on them, and they traveled to different cities. Oh, that's cool. So what are they worth? Vader project. What are they worth? Depends on this is wrong English, so this would be like at least fifteen k. Wow, that's awesome. I'll say because it's all hand painted one on one, and you have this is the um, what's the name Esteban. The, the Oreo, Oreo. Oreo, yeah, yeah. So, oh yeah, right there, Oreo, Oreo. And what's but that very, worth? Very, very LA street. Uh, That's cool. Yeah. I don't know why I like the pink one for some reason. This is by Buff Monster. Pink is power. That's yeah, cool. So he he was from LA and then he moved to New York. So most of the time he's in the East Coast. I have to buy this for Casey when she's mad. Somebody at storage was makes her mad. But anyway, kids, DesignerCon. Do we know a date for DesignerCon? Um, December 13th to 15th. I'm sorry, you know I was going to cut off the video? But I just saw something cool. Oh, yeah. ah, you guys know I love Star Wars. And it's dark in here, but that's okay. Uh, that is cool. Hold on, let me turn on the lights. There That is cool. Check this out, guys. Life size. Huh? So I couldn't reach the... Oh, it's okay. That is cool. The and then another thing, oh look, I mean, I love posters. And another thing, I like old Vespas. Check this out. I mean, that looks like a new one, but it just has really cool color. Yeah, it's a Sean Witherspoon one. Sean Witherspoon, obviously mm -hmm. rare. We bought one, we don't drive it. We just like it because it's an art piece, it's limited, so we just. And probably they went way up in value too, I'm assuming, right? I think so. They, they were only made in 2020 and 2021. Huh. Guys, so much more cool stuff I can show you, but. Everybody's tired. We got to get out of here. You can be in the shot. It's okay. I, I keep on going like pit guys trying to stay out of the shot. Private tour. Yeah, this is so awesome. But this is a cool place, guys. I'll see you on DesignerCon in December. Go buy your tickets early because they sell out. We did it last year. It's fun. We'll see you guys there. Like, subscribe. See you soon.